You shot her in cold blood. What is at stake here far outweighs our personal interests. I, our I should... personal interests? I'm talking about my sister's life. She was my other half. Calm down, Emily. Calm down. Louis, don't come near me. I warned you what would happen if I found her. I was so hoping it wouldn't end like this. I'm fed up with all these deaths. Emily, put the weapon down. She... she has to pay for all the harm she's done to me. Well, to be fair, we've all made mistakes. And look at her, Emily. She's paid for hers. I'm all alone now. Duchess, I am sorry for what happened. I didn't have any choice. Are oh, you? Shut your mouth! You had the choice, all right. You use people according to your own desires, without any scruples. Excuse me, Duchess, but we're in the same line of business. Shut it! And as for Emma, she knew only too no, well. No, Emily. Look at me, Emily. What did you say? No, I'm not like her, and never will be. Emily, no. If she has to die, it will be by my hand. That bitch lied to me all my life, Emily. Louis! What? Shut up! You lied to me! What are you talking about? If she has to die, I'm the one who's gonna do it. Louis, no! What did he tell you? But why did Sarah betray Emma? Why? I... Your sister was supposed to hide something, and no one was supposed to have been able to find it. And? She would never have talked, even under torture. So why get rid of her? Unfortunately, Emily, the creatures who live here employ methods that no one can resist. I was going to get her out of there, for God's sake. So what are you talking about? Don't tell me Emma died because of that book. I have to know anything but that damn book. Emily Mortimer's a demon, in the literal sense of the word. What a- Lord Mortimer has been around since the Third Crusade. He fiddles with his family records so he can keep maintaining his identity. I know it sounds crazy, but I swear on everything I hold dear, that's the truth. What? But when did- Louis, I- Do you realize what you are asking me to believe? I know. But it's the truth, Emily. How do you expect me to accept this? We are in the Golden Order precisely to fight against such beliefs. Do you remember those deeds we found behind the chimney? They weren't fake. There's a reason why they're all signed by his same hand. Demons. In his study, he keeps the Mortimer family tree. They produced only boys, just one per generation since the Third Crusade. And they are all called William. He justifies his own existence, Emily. Look. I'm going to believe you, but if you're taking me for a ride... Unfortunately for us, it'd be impossible to even make up a story like that. All right. I believe you. Thank him. You owe him your life. I have always been very lucky to have him as my son. You know full well that getting yourself worked up like this is not going to help. It won't make any difference. It won't bring Emma back. Forget... I couldn't give a damn if it makes any difference. I only want to not think of anything. And then get out of here. I told you not to come in. Emily, I only want to talk. I understand that you're upset after everything. You understand? You understand nothing. Listen. We're going through a difficult time. Even I'm dumbfounded, dumbfounded and I- Dumbfounded? Dumbfounded? Do you want to know how I feel? Dear God, how could I have done this? I want it to stop. We've all lost something here. All this, everything that's happened, it's a nightmare. I want to wake up. Emily, Calm down and put down that glass. I know you're telling the truth about Mortimer and home. I know they are demons. That's not all. Go on. I'm one of them, Emily. I'm a demon too. I know. But, but how? Sir Gregory stopped by to tell me. I... He wanted to bid me welcome. 
I don't understand. Welcome to the family. Uh, uh, you? You're his daughter? Mortimer's daughter, Louis. What? No, no, that's not a, that's not possible. If, so we have. We are brother and sister? This is too much, Louis. Much too much for me, Louis. I can't look myself in the mirror. I should never have spent the night with... I was attracted to you from the moment we first spoke on the boat. Now I understand why. Do you realize what that means? I'm a monster. And I am one as well. When I think of my feelings for you, I... Ah, oh, that feeling. It hurts all of a sudden. Uh. I... She, she's there. I... I can feel her inside me. She's trying to read my thoughts. Emily, don't do that. Get out of my mind, please. Let me remind you that it's forbidden between demons. I... Sorry, Louis. I didn't want to. I have a sister. It's... It's very strange for me, too. A sister for a brother. Yes. Yes. I must get some rest. I must ask you to leave me now. All right, but don't finish that bottle. Don't start now. I would like to get some sleep. I'll be leaving you then. I thank you, Emily. Manipulated us all. You're going to pay. What is at stake here? far outweighs our personal interests. Our personal I'm... interests? You betrayed me. Emily, no! What an idiot. He still doesn't get it. But, wait. How has Sarah betrayed you? I don't believe it. You still don't get it. I'm not Emily, stupid! You went as far as killing your own sister? You're the one who pointed her out. You only have yourself to blame. Oh, dear God! Surprise, Sarah! You can't just get rid of me like that, you old hag! Do you realize what you did? Emily loved you, Emma. You endured everything together. You were never alone. It's... You have no idea what I had to endure. But it must have been the same for Emily. You both went through so much. She always saved the worst situations for me. How many times have I had to climb into bed with some man I'd never even seen before because Emily had seduced him during the day? Emma, it's obvious you suffered a great deal because of the path your lives took. But don't try convincing yourself that your sister didn't suffer too. Duchess, I am sorry about what happened. You had a choice! You use people according to your desires without any scruples. Excuse me, but we are in the same line of business. Shut it! And Emily knew it very well. No, Emma, look at me. She would never endanger herself for the sake of the Order. Her sense of duty gave way to her personal interest. In the end, Sir Gregory was the only one who was truly honest with me. He has opened my eyes more in two days than my sister did in a whole lifetime. Sir Gregory? You've got to be joking, right? You're not really going to trust him, are you? I trust Gregory. He's always honest with me. Emma, take a moment to consider this, I beg you. I don't think you're fully aware of the situation. With all you've suffered under Emily's thumb, you really ought to flee Sir Gregory. Gregory has always shown me that he cares about me. He's using you. He feeds off your hatred of Mortimer, and me, and your sister. You mustn't let him do that. No, I... No one will ever use me again. No, I refuse. It isn't fair. There's been enough deaths. No, it, it isn't fair. I haven't done all this for nothing. Home promised me I could be the only Duchess Hillsborough from now on. Mortimer is a demon in the literal sense of the word. He and Sir Gregory have been living amongst us for several centuries now. I know, Louis. What? You knew? Of course. And they can even read our thoughts, would you believe that? But it makes no difference. I serve Gregory. Mortimer can drop dead, he absolutely deserves it. Unless you decide to kill everyone on this island, You'll have to explain your actions once you get back. All this effort to become the only Duchess Hillsborough 
Ruined in an instant. She betrayed me! You will be tracked down, hunted like a criminal. In the end, there will have only been one Duchess Hillsborough. In I am Duchess Hillsborough! You will not die by my hand today, Sarah. She deserves to die. In fact, I think that honor goes to you. Where is the Alazif? Sir Gregory planned to get it off the island by boat. I wouldn't be surprised if he sends it with the next shipment for the continent, but I don't know when that is. We have to talk. I was just wondering. Uh, oh, what's she smiling for? Right, I shall begin. It's going to be an awful lot for you to take in on just one day, but I must tell you that I'm a demon too. Excuse me? I know that you are too. Gregory told me everything during my convalescence, and that isn't all. I'm also Mortimer's daughter. You understand what that means, I hope. I, uh... That's right, I am a demon too. And I am your sister. And we also slept together. But don't be too hard on yourself. It's a bit unnatural when you think about it, but um, then you couldn't know. This way at least, everything stays in the family. It's for the best. It mustn't prevent us from living out our affair in the open, however. Our affair? Have you lost your mind? I'm far too soft on you. I'll let you have everything, of course. So don't be nasty, if you don't mind. She's not all there. It's... it's plain to see. Yes. True, it's... it's been a long day. Yes. You ought to get some rest. You can sleep there. You know that, right? Although, thinking about it, best remain discreet for the time being. We shall go see Father later and tell him everything. Of course, he'll be disappointed because he bet it would be Emily, I think. Whoa. She is completely mad. But I think he will be proud of me when all is said and done. She's talking to herself. She can't even see me. He loves me. <gasps> Oh, he loves me not. Yes, we'll have to tell Father all about this. But I don't want to live on this island. It's too cold. There's no point in insisting anymore. I'm going, Emma. Yes, I'll see you later. La, 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 Louie. 